Right, so I've just been to the sawmill this weekend to pick up, um, as you can see, some slab wood here. And um, they are small pieces, um, and they're a mix of uh, well, most most of it's oak actually, um, but there is a piece of um, cedar there um, as well. So um, it's all sort of slab wood, so it's got the bark still on it. Um, so the idea, I think, is to, uh, with these small pieces, is turn them into little coffee tables or benches or something, just to try the techniques out before obviously getting bigger pieces of wood for sort of larger tables. Um, and the job's going to be really to strip the bark off the wany edges, uh, so I've got a clean edge to work with. And then it'll be um, plenty of elbow grease with angle grinder and flap discs. Um, and then probably uh, using an orbital sander uh, or a hand plane that's just to flatten the boards if they're needed but actually they're pretty flat to be honest so they shouldn't need too much flattening um, but certainly they'll need um, obviously sanding with an orbital sander um, right up to uh, 320 grit and then that's ready then for lacquering um, so we'll see how we get on hopefully I'll take some more shots or videos as I go on um, and as I say, I've got the first batch of wood. It has been seasoning in, a, in the sawmill for a year or two now, so it's, um, I wouldn't say it's um, fully seasoned for indoor use, but it's, uh, it's almost there. And I don't mind a bit of checking, a bit of splitting, because that adds character. Um, and uh, so if that happens in the process, then, um, you know, all the better, really. As you can see, that little one there has got a nice little hole in it, so. Um, I'm hoping to uh, use that a bit more and uh, get, get the angle grind in there, clean that up and, um, and hopefully use that as um, part, of the, uh, part of the whole thing, the whole look. So we'll see how that one goes as well. Alright, so uh, that's it. Obviously some hard work now.